I'm currently filming, whoa, almost dropped this. Hold on. Ugh. I'm currently filming another vlog right now about this mysterious light in my forest that I found yesterday. Uh, but today it's, uh, I can't do the next part. You'll see, it's, it's gonna be the next vlog, I think. Um, so since that vlog is on hold, because it's, uh, you know, it's overcast, it's actually snowing a little bit. You see that little bit of snow there? Yeah, can't, can't film the next part. You'll see. Okay. So instead, oh my gosh, people always tell me, you need a GoPro. Sometimes, sometimes I need a GoPro. Oh, I'm gonna drop this. Ah. Okay. Sometimes I need a GoPro, like when my hands are full, but then I would need to get accessories to actually hold the GoPro and I can get those same accessories for my phone, like what's happening right now. I just, I just don't do that. I think the way I do it is pretty good, but yes, you're right. You're right, in some ways a GoPro would help, uh, but not really. I actually do have one of those, it's not a GoPro, it's one made by Sony. Uh, I do have a small camera, um, but I think the phone works just fine for what I do, uh, since I'm so sporadic with how I film things. Um, a GoPro probably would be annoying to film with, and since cameras have such good uh, quality picture these days, did I say cameras? I meant phones. Since phones have cameras with such good quality picture, I think we're good. But thank you for all those people who have offered to send me GoPros or suggest what would be a good one for me to buy myself. Appreciate that. Please don't send me one, I won't use it. I hope that doesn't sound rude. Plus, since I'm a little tech illiterate, it's nice to have everything in one spot. Since I edit everything on my phone and the files are already on my phone, I just move them over to the app. From the app, I put them onto YouTube, still on my phone, and then hopefully you guys watch them. Probably on your phone. Let me know, where do you watch them? On your phone, on the computer, on your TV? Whatever, I appreciate everyone who watches. Okay, so as I was saying, today I was gonna film a different vlog, but instead we'll do something else. I think what we'll do is we'll hang up some more stuff in here. I'm kind of running out of room. I recently hung this up. Some of you will remember this from another vlog. It's actually a piece of drywall that a whole bunch of different artists uh, drew on it was actually in an art gallery that carried my work that recently closed down and That is a drawing that I did at my show that I had there and all these other drawings are from some other artists Who also had shows there so Napoleone uh, <laughs> Michael Goddard uh, Whoever this guy is uh, I forget who that is uh, Vermeeren um, Somebody else a lot of Goddard on here, Robert Bateman, and uh, Stickman, and, and me. Um, and then uh, if you follow Hans and Zenobia over on Hans's channel, uh, they gave me this uh, painting, you may have seen that on their, uh, to me, most recent live. I didn't even warn him that we were coming this morning, but I've been telling him I was bringing <clears throat> this painting to him for quite a while. Well, yeah, we did threaten him about that painting coming this direction. Yes, yeah, so. Okay. There, now he's got it up. That's his, yeah, it does look uh, oh. off level, bud. It needs to go, go no, it's gotta go that way. And then there's a couple of paintings that I'm working on right now. Um, dang, I don't think I have much room in here. I might have to move some stuff around. I recently uh, did a gift opening video. I'll put that up there. Uh, and I had a couple signs. This I think I'll put in the welding area. That's kind of interesting, hey? Um, and then a while back, I got this. I had it at my house. And then Dakota had one made for him as well. Some of you know my brother. If you don't know what these are about, I'll put a link in the description to Just Joshing with Dakota. It's a little, uh, fun little talk show. Emphasis on the, whatever this is called quotations uh, that my brother and I do, um, or did, 
And if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description. Where can I put those? Um, I might just put them on the shelf. I don't have very much wall space. I don't know, I like these. I was thinking about putting these on the Just Joshua with Dakota set, but we also don't have much room there either. So, maybe I'll, let's see here. They just about look perfect there, so I think that's where they'll stay. This room has become kind of an unintentional catch-all for all sorts of different stuff. And since that's not the intention for it to be a mess uh, and it needs to be cleaned up, it's a good thing that those have uh, gotten a new home. Now I just need to find room for everything else. Stuff like this, when I'm working on a painting, that's okay if that's just off to the side. Um, these skulls are all over the place because I was going to do a skull video, a collection video, because someone recently asked me, what do I collect besides junk that I used to make art? What do I collect for myself? And I got all my skulls ready, but I can't find one of them. So, couldn't make, couldn't make the videos without that one. It's a rabbit skull. Don't know where it is. I know that wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea, so maybe it doesn't matter here in the end. I only have a few of them. Uh, and uh, and then one that I've made which I was also going to show in the video because I do try to keep my channel uh, You know related to what I do making and art and that is art um, But I can't find that rabbit skull, but let me know in the comments If it's if you would like to see that or not. I know that's not everyone's uh, idea of good content um, But then I got stuff that I do collect to make art like this huge crankshaft um, <laughs> I didn't know where to put it, so I was like, yeah, let's put it on the coffee table that we have in this room here. Um, and the coffee table isn't even really a coffee table. This is a, a huge part of a huge glue lamb beam that I got from my neighbor, and I just set that on top of a milk crate. Maybe I should make a, uh, coffee table. But, while we're cleaning up and displaying stuff that I collect, here's something else that one of you guys sent me. I'm assuming because you know that I'm a fan of, uh, of the Archie Digest uh, comics. A bunch of these. Thank you. I'll put these with the actual Archie Digest I have. And I suppose people would say, you know what would be an easier way to clean up? Is if you just threw out all the stuff uh, that you have. Wow. I like this kind of stuff. Um, should I keep it in the package? Nah, I like them out. I like this kind of stuff, and the other stuff is how I make my living. Oh, she doesn't have, oh, she does have a stand. Like, how the heck am I going to stand up? Her head's huge, but her feet are, let's see here. There we go. Put that up there. Let's move this piece. This piece is not my art, this is one of my friends. Uh, I'll put a link to his stuff in the, in the description. His name is Day One. I'll put all of his uh, links there. Got Miss Betty. All right, Elizabeth. You can go up there. say is the most famous ginger in history? I would say probably Archie. Oh, he doesn't need a platform. Alright, you can go right there with your two girlfriends. And then your best friend, in this case the fourth wheel. There we go. You can go over here. And enjoy his burger and shake like this. And ironically, they're not even beside Arch Comics. They're by Richie Rich. <laughs> but all this row here is Archie Comics. They don't have room to sit beside them. Okay, what's next? Well, I could take care of this bunch of nipples. Grease nipples. <laughs> These can go in the art trunk right there. 
All the keys I was recently sent in the last mail opening can go it. Perfect. Okay. That's getting pretty full. I will need to, uh... oh look, the snow is finally melting around the thing. So now it's blowing flapping in the wind. That's both good and not good. Soon I'll be able to clean up this mess. Talking about cleaning up messes. Hopefully I'll be able to build a shed this summer. I know I've said that so many times, but if you keep believing, you will be able to do it. <laughs> the problem is that material costs so freaking much. Okay, what's next? We can hang this up. That is gonna go in the welding area. That's not a tack. There we go. I think right here against the white wall, that'll work perfect. Ustat maker with a fork, knife, and spoon because I make stuff out of cutlery. Like this bonsai tree here. Spoons. And this bonsai tree here. It's gonna have forks. These forks here, in fact. Thank you to whoever sent me this. Really appreciate it. Okay, what's next? All this mail that you've sent me, I keep in a, in a binder. This one's full already, so I started a new one. I just need to get some more sleeves. There we go. Done. Thank you to everyone who sends me uh, mail. I appreciate it. It means a lot that people figure I'm, uh, you know, oh, check this out. This card here, this person, Roberta, Roberta, she's the one who sent us those there. She made those, really cool. But check this out, someone else, see this? Someone else sent the same card, and that was Sharon. So thank you, thank you Sharon. You guys have some, uh, some of the same, uh, same cards there. But anyways, thank you, it means a lot, you guys. That will go right beside the other one there. And then some of these other binders have uh... <laughs> That is exactly what people are talking about when they say I should use a GoPro. I get the irony. I could be using two hands if I had a GoPro strapped to my head. Although I would have to hope it's capturing what I want it to capture. It looks stupid when you're trying to do stuff with one hand, but it looks even more stupid when you have a GoPro strapped to your forehead or your chest when you're just vlogging about your daily life. But I, I know what you're saying. In some applications, it would be good. But it's much easier to use the phone. <laughs> okay. Some other stuff in them. What's, oh. <laughs> oh, I remember this. This was... Uh... This is, <laughs> hey, I, <laughs> this is Dakota Drew this, my brother. Hey, I'm Brian, ace detective for CIS, crime investigation station. I'm the one who hunts down suspects like robbers, murderers, and stuff like that. I have blonde hair and I always keep a low profile. And trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. I also have brown eyes and I really dig chicks. <laughs> it was Friday today, bright. Bright night? Bright night here in LA. Nice breeze and everything just the way I like it. I was sitting in the office at Crime Investigation Headquarters, no longer stationed, uh, reading the paper. Look at this, I said in disgust. Baxter Plant moved to Minnesota due to inflation. If you... If you... Oh, I can't read that. It's too erased. Or do you, do you know how many people are starving? I don't, I can't really read that. But anyways, I guess that was probably a school uh, project. He did the title page and the first paragraph. Probably the assignment was to be descriptive. But he was, he was descriptive, but not in the best way. Okay, crusty underpants. He did a knockoff uh, plagiarism of Captain Underpants. Pretty good though. 
Oh, look at that. It's a comic book. And then he made smaller. Oh, this is hilarious. I wonder if he remembers this. Here's a drawing he probably did in grade four or five or something like that. Probably did this one back. This is an eagle. Probably did that when he was about five or six. Oh, here's another one. He must have done it in about grade four or five or something like that. Man, I haven't seen this in a while. Pistol that he drew probably in grade four or five. Garfield and Friends. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I should frame that, actually. Before I forget, I'm going to grab a, uh, a frame so I can hang it up in here. Somewhere. Somewhere. I got it. That's just, that's too awesome. I don't have any of Dakota's art up in this space. And even though this was probably from, I don't know, again, probably grade five or six or something like that. Still, that would be cool up here somewhere. This is the Just Joshing with Dakota set. That's a little teaser, but remember there is a link in the description. Okay, let's walk into this mess. I know there is a bunch of frames in here because I already stole a frame from here. Um, this is something I made out of coat hangers a long time ago. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> This is from my wedding. That's Ashley's uncle. I thought this was a hilarious picture, and so I had to frame it. But I need this frame for now. There's some more. Oh, look at this. We were all decapitated at my wedding. All my groomsmen and ushers and myself. Okay. Gonna take this. Just gonna take the actual photo out because I'm gonna reframe that because it's hilarious. Okay, there we go. There, I like it. Looks good there. I have a little bit more room to put a few more pictures. I'll probably mostly just right there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there just yet, but uh, we'll see. Now, if you wanna see uh, the rest of the contents of this binder, um, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to a deleted scene video and I'll even read you a story that I wrote as a kid since I read you the one that Dakota wrote. I know this one is mine because I still have this same signature. I don't know when I when I wrote this. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I got pretty good marks. Great story, very entertaining. Make sure you add question marks when asking a question. Yeah, I still struggle with that. 15 out of 15 for the artwork. You only have two pictures, but you clearly spend a lot of time on them. Let's see, what are these two pictures? I was probably supposed to put three or something like that. The evil calculator, scientific calculator here. Um, Number two pencil. Sometimes I like hid stuff. I still do this in my paintings where I will put stuff in the... No, this is probably all just regular. I probably just looked at a calculator and did the same thing. But sometimes I would put like little messages in there that you had to look closely. wonder if I did that in here. Oh, look at this. This is hilarious. Stand here when talking to me. Follow these to the bathroom. Does that say whipping cane? <laughs> Look at 24 hour clock. What is this? Moron in trouble. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And look at the classmates. Whale. Crunch. Nice. Meanest teacher award. Look at that teacher. That's hilarious. Look at the rotten apple. With a bite taken out of it. Expectations. Straight A's. 10 minutes early, follow the rules. And the rules are no talking, no goofing around, only work, shut up. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Look at that coffee mug there. Nice. I don't know what grade this was, but if you wanna, if you wanna know what's in there, I will, uh, I will put a, a separate video up for that. All this other stuff in here. 
it's fun to look back at some of this stuff. Yeah, I actually don't remember if Jakota drew that or if I drew that. I think I may have drawn this one and Jakota drew this one because I remember I always liked to draw on blank paper. I didn't really like to draw on graph paper like this or lined paper. And this one's drawn with a, a dull pencil and I didn't really do that. You can see this one is more so a sharpened pencil. Still not a very good drawing, but um, I think I drew this one. This one is modeled after my brother Ken's Ford Lightning. And uh, this probably is inspired by that as well i don't remember who drew this me or me or my brother but anyway i don't have time to look through all that just yet so i'll put that away yeah so all of my binders up this was the store that me and my brother my brother will uh, opened up this was a uh the catalog of stuff that we made oh this is uh, the coffee table that I have in my house. Uh, we made these to sell. Oh, and this is the coffee table that he has in his house. We made those to sell as well. Nice. Anyway, what's next? Well, there's still a lot to clean up. Speaking of coffee tables, why don't we turn this into an actual coffee table and uh, it won't be... Uh, so temporary. I have some I-beam I can use instead of a milk crate. Might look a little better. And this is gonna be a personal coffee table, but I still want it to look, you know, cool, even though it's just gonna be in the shop. I have uh, a little piece of I-beam here. That could work. That, that's not the right kind. I know I have some more of this somewhere. It's over here. There it is, right here. Okay, just have to dig that out. Hopefully it's not, oh, hopefully it's not frozen in there. The ground is still frozen. Oh, okay, it's moving a little bit. There we go. Just a little step. always a little different like the one I just showed you and then I also made another one out of uh, a big huge timbered uh, pallet as well that one was cool. If you want to see the build process of that second table there I'll put a link in the description. I don't have a build video on the first coffee table that used this material because that was uh, made before I really did YouTube. I feel like there's going to be a lot of links in the description in this vlog Hopefully I remember to put them all in. Okay, now I think I'm gonna call this table the uh, the beam table because of the I beam and the glue lamb beam. Uh, I just have to decide on an aesthetic. It's gonna be a design on the fly sort of thing. There's not gonna be too many elements to it. I have to decide, do I wanna keep it black or do I want it to be bare metal? I think bare metal.
Okay. I did not expect to build a coffee table today. And once I started, I did not expect it to take this long. But here we are, and there it is. The beam coffee table. You can see I didn't sand it all perfectly well, but that's half intentional because it's got that certain look to it, that reclaimed look and uh, the old finish is poking through. <laughs> if, uh, if I were to sell this to a, to a customer, I would probably, I would spend more time on it. But I was like, damn it! This is hard to sand off with the wrong grit sandpaper, so this is this is where it's at. Now I actually I actually like it. It's a little lazy, but but I actually like it. This is not the woodworking. Well, it's not really woodworking. All the wood parts were already put together. This is not the project I actually had planned on doing today. Uh, but it's I've already been in the shop for twelve hours. I think. Uh, if tomorrow is cloudy again, I will do uh, I will do that wood project tomorrow. If it's not cloudy, I'm gonna go figure out what that mysterious light in the woods is if it comes back. Like I said, you'll see. Uh, I think now, before I head in for a shower in bed, I'm going to uh, read the. The Evil Calculator. Remember, links in the description. Hopefully I remember to put all of them. Okay. The Evil Calculator. I was doing my math with my brand new calculator. It was so totally cool. Could tell time, do any kind of math, play games with the camera, could mimic my voice to tell me Answers, it could even make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mr. Ripplestein Wrinkleface scowled at me and said, Pick up your calculator, give it to me, and... <laughs> and shine my grubby shoes. <laughs> As he finished talking, somehow my calculator yelled out, No! I don't want the glass screen to turn back 